breaking news out of Asbury Park. A pair of clowns were last seen running north on the boardwalk. This just in. Sources are confirming a bamboozle festival reunion. A 20th anniversary celebration in 2023. 18 years ago, a scene ignited a movement, a culture, a festival. One that would become a game changer. Three years for 600 artists, 500,000 fans. One festival. You remember like a cool asking for a drink. Fuck boy. Wait, wait, wait. Two years. Great. So long. Sleep room. Enjoy. Wait, wait, wait. No debt. Every week. Well, I'm never going to celebrate. No time. Welcome back. Bamboozle festival. Bamboozle festival. Bamboozle festival. Bamboozle festival. Bamboozle festival. Bamboozle festival. I can't believe that I'm somebody who went from this festival is the reason why I've made the life choices I've made to I wish this guy would cancel this event. <laughs> like, what a trajectory. <laughs> you came out pretty strong talking crap, and that's fine. You just got to back it up. And, you know, we, obviously here we are today. No, no, no. This is not where you're trolling the trolls. This is where you're trolling people legit trying to get more information about the festival they want to go to. He told the other guy, like, oh, you need to get, like, a mental health check. And I was like, but you, sir, are the one sending all the crazy emails. Like, that's not how it works. I never meant for this to be a screw John D kind of thing. I never meant for this to be an expose on his history. But that's what it grew into. And, like, I haven't told anybody about this stuff, you know, besides, like, mingling with the other people. So it's... It's just so good to get it off my chest because it was really like one of the worst experiences I've ever had. What actually happened? Was this a great scamboozle? Or did a few people just put a little too much value in a brand? You guys have a good time? You have a good time? No? You have a good time? You have a good time?